Now, ahead of Mother's Day, various figures in the public eye have been revealing the words of wisdom that their mothers have imparted to them. Now, you'd think that most advice would be positive, but not so for writer Jermaine Greer, who says, My mother didn't give me any useful advice. What she said was, Don't go to uni, no one will want you. Go to secretarial college, then you can get a nice job, some nice clothes, and a nice man. Now, she <laughs> obviously didn't listen, um, but have our own mother's words of advice. Have they ever helped you over the years? Oh, yes. My mum's actually been brilliant. She's given me loads of good advice. She's fantastic, my mum. She used to say, uh, when I was in a mess, just spit on your hands and take a fresh hold. <laughs> well, for a translation, spit on your hands and take a fresh hold. What does that mean? She just always wanted life. us to, she just wanted us to be happy. She'd just mm. say, look, just be happy. That's all I want. And if we were, it, it means, it means if you're in a mess, just spit on your hands, take a fresh hold of the problem mm. and sort it. Yeah, and the other thing she used good. to say is, uh, keep your hand on your apnee. <laughs> you know that one, don't you? Contraception, did we, ladies? <laughs> Just keep your hand on your eight neat, never mind contraception. <laughs> <laughs> advice really she was uh, she just she really really was conscious of letting us do what we wanted really and learning by our mistakes so the in fact the only time she ever said something or recommended something <laughs> I just thought of this she did actually say to me she said when I first started going out with Chris Evans she did say to me oh he's lovely you should marry him oh <laughs> <laughs> I know and I did so you know that was the only time but my mum wasn't a very good judge of character when it came to me <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> well, um, no, my, I'm a bit like you. My mum didn't really give me that much advice. I probably could have done with some more, because my dad was so scary. She was very soft, so she just let me sort of do what I wanted to do, really. Probably could have done with being a little less wild as I was growing up. Were so. your mum or you? M me. Oh. <laughs> but wild in what way? <clears throat> well, I was just a wild child, really. I did things I shouldn't have done, but perhaps she should have said what you said, you know, yeah. keep your hands on your eight knees <laughs> Oh, no, my, my mum just used to say, well, what do you want to do? Which was really annoying when you went for advice. Yeah. <laughs> what do you... I don't know. Um, anyway, we, you. that's it. And we've, we've been asking you uh, all week to email us in your mum's words of wisdom for our, our feature, Mum's a Word. Uh, we've got a lovely one here from Janie in Berkshire. This is a good one. Uh, a saying that's been mentioned through the family home over the decades is, if everyone threw their troubles in the air, you'd be glad to catch your own. It's a good way of putting things into perspective. Oh, which is amazing. very true, actually. Yeah. Yes, very good. I've got a lovely one here from Angela in Tilehurst. My wonderful Nana passed away 30 years ago and there is still not a day that goes by that I don't think of her and her wonderful saying that I use as my mantra through life. Nothing keeps better than housework. So every day I stop whatever I'm doing at 12.30 to eat my lunch and watch Loose Women. Sorry. Okay. Years ago, uh, my sister's boyfriend of three years was a singer and a guitarist. My mother's words of wisdom were to tell her that she was wasting her time with him as musicians never earn any money. The ex-boyfriend is now one of the richest men in the UK, Paul McCartney. <laughs> Uh, this one's from uh, Linda in Barnsley. She says, when my mum was entertaining, she would always say, keep them laughing, they won't eat as much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know, they're brilliant. Thank you for all the emails. And these are just a few that we've uh, had a chance to read out.